I've got this little patch in the garden here which I cleaned out of weeds about a week ago and the gardener found a dead mouse in there that I'd thrown on the lawn that morning so he covered it with grass clippings and in the meantime I found two more two big rats actually so let's see if they're still under here yep so I'm actually oh look at that gross far out so there's the two. Oh, look he's all swollen up and bloated interesting me and my fascination with decomposition interesting and I'm sure there's a little mouse under here too somewhere probably won't find the mouse oh that could be look at that patch of oh, wow look at this I've got to show you this quickly look at this here all that little ant nest under this grass clippings I've never seen that before anyway I think ants have a purpose in the garden and they're not harming me so I'll just leave them I don't think I'm going to find the little mouse he could be anywhere he could have been eaten by now but what I'm going to do to, to these two guys is take them to a pot where I've got no veggies or anything. Well, I don't have time to grow veggies, but a part of the garden where I have a pot that I throw all the rats in that the cat collects. So I'll go and show you that. It's hidden in here somewhere. There it is. I'll get a bit closer. It's very dark down there. Anyway, let's have a dig. There's a chicken thing, of course. I can probably take that out now. No slugs on it. Oh, look at this beautiful soil. Wow. Beautiful. Can't beat that. Two rats. In they go. Oh, they stink. Boy, do they smell. Now I don't want to cover that up too much because I want the soldier flies to get them and not the worms. I've explained before, worms love meat, but it kills them. So we'll just cover that up a little bit. Cover this over again so you can't see it. Very dark in there. But I can tell you that there is literally fruit. There's nothing left except hair. Grab it out. When I say nothing left is here, is the rat getting eaten alive. And it's woofy. God, it's stinky. Far out. You can see all the skin there, but there is not much. Oh, there's still a bit left of it. Not much. Oh god, I've got to get it back in there. It stinks so bad. Far out. Couldn't smell that a minute ago. Now I can. Put that on. Cover it up. <gasps> Let's have a look in a few more days. Another day, another rat. And I think I'm going to call this my rat pot. Well, the last one's gone. There's a tail left. Uh, there's still a little bit of dried up sort of kind of waste. Oh, there you go. I can't see it. Oh, there's two reptiles there. See, there's one. And there's another one. It's all kind of matting together, so it actually needs some water. Gross. Oh, look at the skin. The skin of the rat. Look at that. It's very strange, isn't it? Still a few larvae in there, so I'm going to give them another one. I'm really tired of this cat catching these rats. What do you do? 
Well, I don't mind him catching those because he brings them in the house that I don't like it. Anyway, there we go. is left by the looks. A rat tail. Oh, look at those lovely maggots going. There's soldier flies going. There's the rat tail. Gross, right? But, and, gee, there's quite a few. I've had about three or four rats in here now. And, oh God, it's a bit stinky still, wow. Who thought rats could smell so much? <laughs> Ooh, gross. That's pongy. It never smells like that. Ooh, get to get the lid on. Far out. Oh, that's better. Can't smell it now. <laughs> I think we'll leave that for a few more weeks. And I think I might top it up with some food waste to get rid of that smell. Let's see how our rats are going. all gone and turn to soil. Let's have a pixel up and have a look. Bit of a hairball there. Oh, there's a little skeleton. Oh, look at that. Look his face, that is. It's a little rat head. And, and oh, there's another one. Oh, that looks like the underneath side of it, of his head. Two little teeth, two little holes where his skull is. <laughs> And this is all like a bit like matted hair and there's a rat tail still not decomposed but there were about three or four rats in here and pretty much it's all turned to soil now I don't know that you'd be able to use this in the outback but there's a rat plague at the moment but certainly in your backyard if you have a rat problem and you've got an eager cat like mine that loves to catch them and bring them to you. You can dispose of them in your pots. And you're not going to get a lot of worms in there because it's meat and it will meat will actually kill your worms. Um, but I think if you've got a lot in your garden it probably doesn't matter. I don't know what that is. That's like a full-on rat hairball. That's interesting. There's another little skull. Yeah, there's lots of hairballs in here. That would make for good, um, uh, uh, what's the word, erosion, if you put that in your soil. But actually, if you put that outside in the sun, the sun will break down that hair very quickly once it hits the sun. So if you threw it on the top of a garden somewhere, it would quickly disappear. Now that all the meat and everything has gone from the rash. There we go. Thanks for watching.